Hello to all my inquisitive minds. I welcome you back again in my channel which is Biology for Inquisitive Minds. As you all know in the last video, if you have seen my last video, if you have not seen, do watch it. Uh, in the last video, we have talked about what is living, that is being alive and the various attributes of living. But in today's lecture, we are going to take only the important points which described what is being alive. Okay? Unnecessary points to discuss karne ka koi fayda nahi hai. Fine. So I have taken only the important points. In the last video, we have also talked about that who was the founder of your biology and zoology and who is the father of your biology and zoology. So that is Aristotle. In today's lecture also, we are going to learn about the two more founders and the two more fathers. Okay. But before that, let's just start about the various explanation of the attributes of living. As you can see here, I have written everything. Fine. So what is living? That is again, I'm repeating, that is being alive. So all living organisms, in the last lecture also I've taught, uh, taught you, they grow, they move, they develop, they are self-replicating, self-evolving, they are self-consciousness, okay? So the first point is growth. Now what is the growth? Growth can be increase in mass and the in, uh, increase in the number of your individual. Mass ka matlab hota hai when there is increase in matter. A number of individuals, they will increase when there will be cell division. A multicellular organism se leke, a unicellular organism tak cell division hoti hai. Chikhe, either it's a unicellular or a multicellular. Uh, we are multicellular organisms. We are eukaryotes and your bacteria, it is your unicellular. Chikhe, we also have unicellular alga. So here I have written that increase in mass and increase in number of the individual. So now I have written here the uh, cellular, uh, whether it's a unicellular or whether it's a multicellular organism, there will be cell division. That can be mitosis, that can be meiosis. The mitosis will always relate to the growth and the meiosis will always relate to the reproduction. Now in living organism mein growth is growing. So, it can also be that our non-living organisms or organisms that are non-living things can also grow. But before going that, let's just discuss about your plants. Plants may be the cell division that is also a part of the growth. But the plant has a specific character that it is not like that it is a particular lifespan. After 70 to 80 years, ke baad wo, they will die. No. They actually continue to grow till their life, jab tak wo bilkul bada nahi ho jata, paid jab tak wo paid bilkul buddha nahi ho jata. But what about human beings? Human beings ka to we all are familiar. Either we are going to live up to 90 or 100 or 110, not more than that. Thik hai? Exceptions are always there. To hota kya hai, jo human beings hote hai, usme humare har din wearing and tearing se, kyunki har din humare cells ki replacement hoti hai. Fine? Not every cell, but maximum number of cells, I have also written here ki about 330 billion cells jo hamari body mein hote hai, wo har din replace hote hai. Among them, hamari kuch aise cells bhi hote hai, for example, aapke RBCs, red blood cells, they have a lifespan of 120 days, after 120 days they are going to replace. There is also the colon epithelial lining. As you all are familiar with the colon, if you're not familiar, no need to worry. Colon is the part of your large intestine. Large intestine ka colon part mein, jo epithelial lining hoti hai, that has the replacement uh, period of 3 to 5 days. Okay? Aur every day jitne bhi humare cells hote hain, other than this, it always replaces. Ye to hogi animal ki baat, plant ki baat bhi humne kar li. Okay? Now let me give you example. Let's just talk about the mountains and your sand mounds. हम सब ने रेत के ढेर देखे हैं, हम सब ने पहाड़ देखे हैं, ठीक है? पहाड़ों पे जितनी ज़्यादा accumulation होती जाएगी soil की, हर बार soil की accumulation होगी, vegetation होगी, नए vegetation आएगी, so that is also there is increase in mass, increase in matter of the mountain, हर बार हवा आएगी, हवा से रेत आएगी, रेत के ढेर बनते जाएंगे, that is also non living, but हो क्या रहा है? Growth हो रही है. So in that particular case, we cannot say that growth is only the attribute of living beings. Rather, we have some exceptions ki hum uske andar deep jaye aur uske study kare. Thik hai? First ho gaya hamara growth. Second, reproduction. We all are familiar that what is reproduction means to reproduce, to produce its progeny, to produce its offsprings. Thik hai? 
अब रिप्रोडक्शन में बेटा रिप्रोडक्शन एक इतना वास्ट टॉपिक है ठीक है बट वी आर नॉट गोइंग इन टू दैट पार्ट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू दैट पार्ट ठीक है इसमें हमने सिर्फ ये देखना एज यू कैन सी आई हैव ड्रॉन द डायग्राम से रिप्रोडक्शन में हमें ये पढ़ना है कि आपके यूनिसेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स में और मल्टी सेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स में रिप्रोडक्शन हो रही है तो क्या ये एक लिविंग बींग का एट्रीब्यूट है सो फॉर दिस आई हैव रिटर्न हेयर रिप्रोडक्शन मीन्स टू रिप्रोड्यूस एंड द प्रोजनी इट कैन बी ऑफ द टू टाइप्स सेक्शुअल एंड ए सेक्शुअल सेक्शुअल में द इंडिविजुअल ऑफ स्प्रिंग कैन बी सिमिलर और डिफरेंट ए सेक्शुअल में इट इज ऑलवेज सिमिलर ठीक है Not going deep into your asexual and sexual. We are going to just take the examples. Now, example me, what is? I want to give you uh, as much as more examples because the question can come from here. The question can come. कि देखो यहीं से चार पांच question बन जाते हैं कि fungus में fungi में क्या होता है जिसकी वजह से आपके increase in number of pores होते हैं. Yeast and hydra क्या चीजें हैं? इनमें कौन सी production होती है? Planaria क्या है और इसमें कौन सी production होती है? फिलामेंटस एलगी का एग्जाम्पल क्या है और इसमें कौन सी रिप्रोडक्शन होती है सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद योर फंजाई फंजाई में नॉर्मल अगर आप एग्जाम्पल लेंगे तो दैट इज ऑफ योर राइजोपस एंड यू ऑल आर फेमिलियर इन द रेनिंग सीजन जब बरसात के दिनों में आप बहुत दिन तक ब्रेड को रखते हैं तो उसके ऊपर एक फंगस आ जाती है ग्रीन कलर की या तो जब आप सिट्रस फ्रूट रखते हैं बहुत दिनों के लिए या लेदर लेते हैं या फिर लेदर आप जब देखते हैं बहुत दिनों बाद इन द रेनिंग सीजन You get to know and you see there is appearance of the fungus. ठीक है? So I've written here the common example of the rhizopus. These rhizopus they multiply, they increase their asexual pores and they spread all along by the help of wind or by the help of their uh, any external agent. ठीक है? Second is we have the example of yeast and hydra. Yeast is also a type of fungi, जो इसकी एक अलग class होती है Not going into that class, क्योंकि अब हम सिर्फ general पढ़ रहे हैं When I talk you about the uh, description of the fungi, we'll talk about different classes like Ascomycetes, Basidiomycetes, Phycomycetes, Deuteromycetes. Not to worry, we are always uh, going to help you. Okay? Then we have yeast and yeast is also a type of fungi we have the hydra and hydra is one of the cylindrate which we can find in your oceans in your sea now what is the cylindrate cylindrate is also one of the we can say a phylum which is present in the diversity of living beings we are not going to discuss that thing aapko sirf itna pata hona chahiye ki cylindrates jo hote hain basically uh, they are present in your marine uh, water and you can find them in your sea not always marine you can find them in your uh, seas you can find them in your oceans and you find in your aquatic bodies okay so now i have drawn here this is your yeast now what is happening to it there is the, the, this red color is your nucleus there is a development of the bud because the budding and your uh, it takes place in your yeast and it takes place in your hydra so there is a development of the bud now there will be a separation of this bud from the parent yeast at last what will happen at the last stage this developed bud will separate from the parent as you can see here this is the left out parent and these are the chain of the yeast cells so basically it shows the budding now second comes in the case of the hydra i have drawn the structure of the hydra here it has tentacles his tentacles actually is responsible for catching the prey now what will happen there is a small formation or the protruding of the bud this bud now let me come here this bud will grow it will just separate out from the parent hydra it will grow to the substratum and after that there will be formation of the new hydra okay so these are the examples of your yeast and hydra next comes your planaria this planaria is actually a type of your flatworm and a flatworm uh, this is your free living uh, flatworm it is not uh, parasitic because it is not going to live in any host and it is not going to take any nutrition host or shelter from the host it is just living in the water it's independent and it has a very important characteristic that is the regeneration capacity now what is regeneration that means if uh, that planaria has lost is any of the part during any destruction or self amputation then that particular part can regrow itself to form the fully organized organism for example as i have drawn here one of the diagram agar aap isko upar wala part alag kar doge it is going to form the whole body 
अगर आप इसका बीच वाला पार्ट अलग कर दोगे इट इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू फॉर्म इट्स होल बॉडी अगर आप इसका लास्ट वाला पार्ट भी अलग कर दोगे देन ऑल्सो इट इज गोइंग टू फॉर्म इट्स होल बॉडी देन दिस इज अ टाइप ऑफ योर रिजनरेशन एंड इट्स ऑल्सो इट्स ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ योर रिप्रोडक्शन ठीक है और हम क्या पढ़ रहे हैं इट्स द एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ योर लिविंग बींग Now then comes your D part, which is your filamentous algae. I have drawn here a structure of the spirogyra, not in so much detail, but just to let you know that what is spirogyra. Spirogyra is a filamentous algae, as you know, as you can see here, it's a filament over here. We have a cell wall. We have a nucleus. This is uh, these are your pyrenoids, which are your reserve food material in case of your spirogyra, and that is a vacuole. Now there is a fragmentation in the spirogyra. Now what is fragmentation? As you can see here, green color. This green color line will form the septa, and both of these segments or both of these fragments they are going to separate out, and each of the fragment is going to produce its own uh, spirogyra, or we can say the filamentous algae. It's also a type of your reproduction. Then. the exception comes under this mule and this worker bees the mules actually is the you can say the hybrid of your donkey and a horse when both of them they mate together we make the hybrid that is called a mule it is always sterile in nature and it is not going to reproduce there is a caste in the honey bee which is called the worker bee it is also going to not produce any of the offspring they are your sterile so by this exception we can say uh, jaise aapka uh, donkey and zebra ko jab hum cross karwate hain to zinki banta hai it is also kind of a sterile to hum ye nahi keh sakte ki reproduction can be the only attribute of your living being because the exceptions are always there theek hai then after this we have another attribute which is called your metabolism and the consciousness theek hai what is this metabolism actually you can call it it's the type of the chemical reactions which are taking place inside the human being now these chemical reactions can be what because we have presence of your many chemical compounds inside your body they can be your vitamins they can be your carbohydrates they can be your fats they can be your proteins जब छोटे छोटे ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल या छोटे छोटे एलिमेंट्स फॉर्म होकर एक बड़ा ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड बनाते हैं ठीक है दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एनाबॉलिज्म। जब एक बड़ा ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड फॉर एग्जांपल कार्बोहाइड्रेट टूट के आपको एनर्जी देता है और ग्लूकोज देता है दैट इज योर कैटाबोलिज्म सो देर इज अ कन्वर्जन बिटवीन वन टू टू एंड द सेकेंड टू फर्स्ट वन जब छोटे से बड़ा या फिर बड़े से छोटा हो रहा है दैट्स अ काइंड ऑफ ए मेटाबॉलिज्म नॉर्मली ये बोला जाता है कि मेटाबॉलिज्म इट अगर्स इन केस ऑफ योर प्लांट्स आल्सो इट केस इन योर एनिमल्स आल्सो एंड एवरी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म इज हैविंग अ टाइप ऑफ मेटाबॉलिज्म वेदर इट्स एनीवन ठीक है तो ये काइंड ऑफ अ केमिकल रिएक्शन है सो दिस कैन आल्सो हैपन कि अगर आप एक लेबोरेटरी में एक इन विट्रो फर्टिलाइजेशन जब हम करते हैं वी विल टॉक विद इन विट्रो फर्टिलाइजेशन मीन्स जो इट्स अ फर्टिलाइजेशन विच इज आउटसाइड द मदर बॉडी ठीक है जिसमें हम स्पर्म लेते हैं एंड ओवा लेते हैं एंड वी ग्रो इट इन द टेस्ट ट्यूब विद द हेल्प ऑफ द वी कैन से वो वाला हम इसे टेम्परेचर एंड एनवायरमेंट देते हैं जो कि मदर वोम में होता है वी कॉल इट इन विट्रो ठीक है एज सेम इन केस ऑफ द मेटाबॉलिज्म इफ वी डू इन दिस इन योर लेबोरेटरी इन विट्रो अगर हम कल्चर करते हैं तो एक टेस्ट ट्यूब के अंदर भी हम मेटाबॉलिज्म को कैरी आउट कर सकते हैं क्योंकि डिफरेंट हम उसको एक 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 टेम्परेचर एक उसके सराउंडिंग एक एनवायरमेंट दे सकते हैं जो कि एक लिविंग बींग के अंदर है बट हम उसे ये नहीं कहेंगे कि वो एक लिविंग बींग के अंदर हो रहा है एंड वी कैन नॉट टेक इट एज द लिविंग बींग एट्रीब्यूट क्योंकि जो आपका लिविंग बींग के अंदर हो रहा है दैट विल बी योर डिफरेंट मेटाबॉलिज्म और वी नो दैट देर इज नो मेटाबॉलिज्म इन केस ऑफ योर नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स क्योंकि नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स के अंदर कोई भी आपका एट कैटाबॉलिज्म एंड एनाबॉलिज्म रिएक्शन नहीं होता है बट वी कैन कॉल इट दिस मेटाबॉलिज्म इन केस ऑफ इन विट्रो कल्चरिंग इन योर लेबोरेटरी एज अ लिविंग मटीरियल सो हम इसे लिविंग मटीरियल बोल सकते हैं सो इन दैट केस वी कैन से मेटाबॉलिज्म कैन बी द एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ योर लिविंग बींग विदाउट एनी एक्सेप्शन then comes your consciousness we all are familiar that jo plant hote hain jo animals hote hain jo human beings hote hain we are self consciousness because we are familiar with our environment due to the presence of the sense organ 
we can sense the different uh, vibrations we can sense the different uh, we can say uh, the environment the coldness the hot uh, the hotness and the different senses in our environment kyun kyunki hamare paas sense organs hote hain theek hai that is in relation to this consciousness now for example uh, there are some plants and there are some animals which are your seasonal breeders now what are these seasonal breeders they depend upon the photo period now what is this photo period actually normally agar hum photo period ki baat karte hain it's the time of the day where an organism is getting much of the illumination of the light or much of the light तो सीजनल ब्रीडर्स वो होते हैं कि पूरे साल में उनका एक टाइम आता है फॉर द ब्रीडिंग एंड फॉर द मेटिंग सीजन फॉर एग्जांपल काउ फॉर एग्जांपल डॉग पिग एंड कैट और उनमें एक साइकिल चलती है जिसको हम ऑइस्ट्रिस साइकिल कहते हैं जैसे ह्यूमन बींग्स में मेंस्ट्रुअल साइकिल होती है वैसे सीजनल ब्रीडर्स में ऑइस्ट्रिस साइकिल होती है ठीक है सो दे आर योर सेल्फ कॉन्शियस दे आर योर कॉन्शियसनेस उनके पास सेंसेस हैं वो फोटो पीरियड के अकॉर्डिंग काम करते हैं प्लांट्स भी फोटो पीरियड के अकॉर्डिंग काम करते हैं दे कैन सेंस वाटर दे कैन सेंस द लाइट दे कैन सेंस द टेम्परेचर ठीक है सो वी कैन से दैट जो लिविंग बींग्स होते हैं दे है दे आर कॉन्शियस दे हैव द सेंस ऑर्गन्स but can we related to the patient who is lying in the coma and whose brain is not working and he is on the machinery of your pumping of the blood and uh, he is on the lying he is just lying on the bed and doing nothing can we call it that as a living basically human beings a major system hota hai that is very complex we cannot say ki uh, har koi attribute jo hai wo aapka living system ke liye kaam kar raha hai theek hai because i have just i have given you one of the example because this human being is so complex that jo cell ki property hai wo tissue ki property se alag hai jo organ ki property hai wo organelle ki property se alag hai but all these the tissue cells organs and organelles they are forming the complex structure which is called a higher organization jisme sabhi milke kaam kar rahe hain so we can say ki jo human being hote hain they have the ability to self consciousness they have ability to self replicate they have ability for the evolution so uh, basic jo main attributes hote hain only that we have just we have uh, discussed in case of the living beings so now there is a question that uh, can we call the biology as the study of the story of your life on the earth or we can we call the biology as the story of evolution on the earth i want to know the answer please answer me in the comment box because i want to know how much you have understood fine so today we discussed about in details the attributes of your living beings with some exceptions and i hope you have understood because uh, i just try to make it simple as possible so that you students can understand and in the beginning of the video i promised to tell you about the fathers of two more fields which is the father of the botany and the father of the medicine so let me just write you for here the father of the botany is your theo Okay, okay. you have to learn these things things. because these are the very important things. कुछ बच्चे होते हैं जिन्हें याद है इट्स ओके वेरी गुड एंड कुछ बच्चे हैं जिनको नहीं भी पता है जिनको नहीं याद है सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू लर्न एंड आई वॉन्ट यू टू नो एंड द फादर ऑफ मेडिसिन इज योर हिपो क्रिट्स so these are the two new fathers which uh, you have come to know today i want you to learn it and uh, i want you to comment in the section below that you have understood the video or not and in the next video i am going to talk about the different levels of the diversity in the living being so stay tuned with me do subscribe and do share and do comment in my channel thank you and have a grateful day to all of you